Namaste. I am Mini and welcome to my channel Food Atomic. Today we are making the easiest recipe for creamy vegan carbonara. So without further ado, let's get started. Start by cooking the pasta. I am using linguine pasta, but you can select the pasta of your choice. Take one of the pasta strands and please don't throw it on the wall to see if it sticks. Break it or eat it to see if it's properly done. Remove the pasta water. You can always save it for later use. Add some salt and oil to the pasta. Give it a good mix and the pasta will remain fresh for a longer time. Now for the creamy sauce, we need to add cooked garlic. You can prepare the sauce without garlic too, but I really like the flavor cooked garlic adds to the sauce. So to the pan, add 1 teaspoon of oil, add 6 large cloves of garlic and cook till they are slightly golden. Always cook the garlic over low heat so it doesn't burn or stick to the bottom of the pan. Set it aside and let's prepare the sauce for cooking the mushrooms. Take 1 teaspoon of olive oil, 2 teaspoons of vinegar, 1 tablespoon of agave syrup, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce. Mix everything well and the sauce for cooking the mushrooms is ready. Next, let's slice some mushrooms in chunks. As in the original carbonara recipes, they use panceta or bacon and we are replacing it with mushrooms. I have taken around 400 grams of portobello mushrooms. If you are new to this channel, I am here to help you in your vegan or plant-based journey with easy recipes. So don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for future notifications. Heat the pan. There is leftover oil from cooking the garlic. Add the mushrooms followed by the sauce. Mushrooms will also release moisture when they are cooked. Set the heat to medium and for this recipe you can also use vegan bacon or tofu or jackfruit to get similar flavors. You can choose any type of mushroom. The idea is to reflect the flavor similar to bacon. Once the mushrooms are done, add the pasta to it and let the pasta cook in the mushroom juices over low heat for 2-3 to three minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the creamy sauce. To the blender, add 150 grams of soaked cashews, cooked garlic, soy milk, nutritional yeast, lime juice and blend it into a smooth sauce-like consistency. Then add the cashew cream to the pasta. Switch off the heat at this point. 2.5 teaspoons of salt or as per taste. 1 teaspoon of pepper and mix well. In the original carbonara recipe, they use egg to bring in the creaminess and never use any cream. We are using cashews and doing the same. You will notice that the mushroom pieces will sit down towards the bottom of the pan. While plating, ensure to give everyone some chunks of those delicious mushroom bites. Finally, garnish it with some fresh parsley and crushed black pepper. I use the pepper powder while cooking the pasta but for garnishing I love the taste of freshly ground black pepper, it's just too good. This is a quick and foolproof recipe to satisfy your cravings. If you were a carbonara fan like I was, this is a very close one especially because of the mushroom bites. So if you like this recipe, do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Food Atomic. I'll be back soon with another interesting vegan recipe. Until then, bye. Don't forget to check out these two amazing vegan recipes.